Right, okay, I'm going to show you how to make this treehouse. It's fairly simple, I'd say. All you need are four jungle saplings and some bone meal if you're planning to do this in creative or you're in a rush. You're going to need about 64 ladders depending on how high you want your treehouse. As you can see, this one's quite high up, but I can't tell you how many ladders I use. I think about 20. You're going to need a trapdoor. You're going to need a good amount of torches, probably a stack. You'll need 12 oak logs, about 100 oak wood slabs, about 200 oak wood planks, about 16 window panes, and to decorate inside you'll need a bed, a furnace, a, some chests and a crafting table. And for extras you can use an ender chest, a pot and a flower, a carpet and an anvil. To make the lights around the bottom you'll need four bits of cobblestone and 16 torches or four pieces of glowstone and you'll also need about 100 fences. So this is what I made earlier and over here is where I'm going to show you how to make it. To get jungle trees like this it's very simple you just clear a small space like that place down four in that and then just use bone meal to make it bigger. Now that's a nice tall tree. That would be a nice one to make a tree house up but I'm going to use this one from earlier. Now your first thing you've got to decide is how high up you want it. Now I would suggest putting the base about five from the top so there and then you need to clear all the vines down one section of the tree as you need to put your ladders there. So just build your ladders up. Now obviously I'm doing this creative mode so it's hard to do in survival mode but it can be done because I've made it. So for this tree house I always do four away from the tree so one, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to need to destroy all this. You can keep the leaves underneath. Three, four. And you're also going to want to destroy some of these vines. You don't want them growing in your house. And then again, one, two, three, four. So then you're just going to build your floor. My suggestion would be the first time you make a tree house like this would be to do it on creative purely because it's easier and you can get to know the design a bit better you can play with it as well so I'm just gonna edit, let's get rid of that now then I've just made that mistake I've got all my things ready but in survival you probably won't have so don't worry about it so your, your 12 bits of log are going to go on the corners, three high on each corner. So once I've used everything for the last time, I'm just going to get rid of it so you can see how quickly you just get rid of things. Another thing that I can now get rid of is the trapdoor, because you're only ever going to need one of them. So you just build the, these up like that. So I go with, you have one window there, you have a double window there, and one window there. Always build, if you find it easier, build one each side of these pillars. Then, like I said, one, two, one, one, two, one, and then again on the side. Now, this is a square tree house, so this just works fine. Then you're just going to pop them in. Now there is another design I use but it is considerably harder if you're on survival as it requires you standing right on the edge. And I'll make that tree house as well if you want me to. It, but just like I said it is a lot harder on survival. So now I'm just going to fill in the windows. torches for this design you can just put eight around the centre of the tree 
like that. Now for the roof, you have a slight advantage with tree houses, you already partly have a roof. So all I do, I use the half slabs and I just plonk them on. I do, I got to a point as you can see on the other tree house. So now those bits are going to be within the house if we're not careful. So once you've done that, this is when it becomes a little bit trickier because you have to do your next layer. So what you do is you just put one down, go across and build a couple across. You have to get rid of the first one and place one back. So um, you might prefer to get rid of the leaves and completely do your roof like this. But I think once you've got to the point that one layer is all covered, you're okay. So there you go. So we can now get rid of them and then they can go as well. So now I'm going to place in my crafting table, my bed, my furnace and my chest. I don't think we need that anymore so that can go. Now I to put your bed anywhere, put a couple of furnaces in maybe, a double chest for your food, another double chest there and a third one there. That means you've got plenty of space to cook and store stuff. And over here you might decide to put your crafting table. Now for if you're someone who likes prettier places to live, you can add flowers or a carpet. And other useful things to have might be an ender chest and an anvil. Let's go and pop them down somewhere. Just like that. So you might decide just here to pop a little pop like that. And it just makes your house a little bit cuter. So again, now we can get rid of all oh, oh, haven't done that yet. We can put a little carpet in. Now I'm going to put mine just there. And I'm just gonna do a little check of carpet. But that's not essential. It's not a you're not gonna need it in a life or death situation. Right, so now we're just going to leave the tree house. Now, I always get rid of these vines as well, and I do some torches. So I do one, one from the top, and then I go one, two, three, dot and fourth. One, two, three, and fourth. One, three, and fourth. Okay, so that brings you right down to the bottom. Okay, so that's your basic tree house. You can leave it like that if you're not right if you're not prepared to fiddle about. So now we just have to do the last two things of fences. Now the way to do this is to get directly underneath it and just keep going down with it. Now the way to do this in survival, I could show you on another video, is to build up directly underneath using some extra, any extra wood you've got. And you would it right down to it touches the ground. So you're going to do the same on every single corner. Now this takes a lot of time in survival because you have to keep chopping down underneath you and keep placing them above you. So you kind of have to be quite efficient. Now this in survival, I'd say if you put these in, you're going to look be looking at a couple of days. So you want a good little place to live already. I would not recommend trying to make this your first house on the world unless you're up for a challenge because I don't think you'd be able to m fully make it in the first day. It's going to get night soon on here so. Then we're on to the last corner. Now this one's a bit harder because we've got those leaves but we'll give it a go. Actually, we're just going to miss the leaves, that's good. Now, it you can get rid of all the leaves on the tree, or if and then put some on later after you've done where you want it. But I think it may just makes it look a lot better having some leaves on, right? And on this tree house, as you can see, I've got four blocks up I've decided to put some cobblestone and four lamps. This is just makes it a little bit easier to be seen in the distance and just lights up so nothing spawns directly below you. Over here 
I'm going to show you a slightly different method of using glowstone, which is exactly the same. You count four up from the bottom and place some glowstone in there. And it just makes it look nice, light, brightens it up, so hopefully nothing should spawn directly beneath you. What I did do on one of my treehouses on survival is put a little room at the bottom so I didn't go right down into the world. But that is about it and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll upload another video soon.